Welcome to another tutorial from gregruns.com. Um, today I'm going to show you how to fix your GPX files, whether they're coming from your watch or coming from any other device, and uh, you notice that there is um, a little bit of corruption in the files or there's something that you need to fix. Um, I'll give you a few examples of how to do it. So here we are in Basecamp. Um, I already downloaded the file. If you look on the page, on gregruddens.com, you will find the files that I'm working with. There's three of them, three different ones, in, uh, into one file. So here I'm going to import the file. Here it is on my download folder, fix GPX file. Click import, and then we notice right here that we have file one, two, and three. So let's go one by one. The first one, uh, first off, let's go ahead and show it on the map. So do a right click and show on map, and here it is. So it's pretty obvious at this stage what we have here. We have a few pieces of data that have been um, recorded in a different location, or maybe the GPX uh, watch didn't have the right number of satellites before we started the activity. So this is a very easy one. We'll go right here, and I'm gonna zoom in just using my pad. Um, and you can see there is one, two, three different points um, that we can see. So I'm going to do a right click. You can do two things here. You can do right click, get info, or you can simply uh, double click on the file. This window will open up. Um, what I like to do is drag the window down a little bit, and you can see the points are highlighted, the points that we need to um, to delete. So I'm going to go right here, do uh, delete on my keyboard, delete again, delete one more time, and then delete. Um, now you notice all of this is gone. If I go back, oh, here's my activity, and now it's good to go. So that was a very easy fix. Um, I'm going to go back, actually, and do a c Command Z and go back a little bit. The one thing we could have done as well, um, let's assume that this point right here uh, actually belongs to the activity. We can actually go back and zoom a little bit closer right here and then move the point to wherever we want it to be, uh, if that's what we want it to do. Let's go to file number two. Again, right click, show on the map. And here, um, what I want to show you, first off, let me go to my map and uh, go to the uh, global map. Um, this is a run that was done in uh, Florida Keys. Uh, if we go to uh, Safari here, I want to show you uh, what happened to this run is, it was a pretty short run, about two miles. And right at the end, there is a couple points that um, make it really funky uh, with paces at around four minutes per mile, which uh, definitely did not happen during this run. So let's go back to base camp. Obviously, we see what happened here. If we zoom in, there's one point, there's another point right here, and finally another point. So all we need to do again is delete uh, this, double click on it. Um, you notice that it shows right here. I'm going to delete this first one. Uh, delete again. Okay, so now let's see what happens. Um, let's go scroll down all the way to the end. Oh, let me just make this window a little bit smaller here. Okay, so again, go to the last file, last point, and there we go. Um, now it looks like we have everything that we need. Uh, cleaned off. So what I would do in this case, um, file, export, uh, selected user data, name it something different, and then import it into your Strava. <clears throat> so let's go to the last file. Again, show on the map. Uh, this one is a little bit different. Um, there's no real bad data per se. Uh, the problem is we forgot to turn off the watch maybe when we started driving. And, uh, and we got a whole bunch of uh, records or even Strava thinks that uh, we went way faster than we uh, have. So if we again go to our little um, Strava section, we can see right at the end right here, um, the pace starts to pick up in the uh, one minute per mile and so on on the road. So uh, what we'll do here is we'll just split the track at this point and then uh, just delete the rest of it. So I'm going to go back to Basecamp and um, try to pinpoint, uh, knowing exactly where the track, I'm going to go back to my Arizona topo map right here. Um, 
and I know where it was, I know where it happened, it happened in the parking lot um, right here. So we can see, I know the parking lot is right here, and we can see how spaced out the points are at this stage right here. So I'm going to go to that last point right here, do a right click, and do split track at point. What it's going to do is uh, create two different tracks. So it opens this new tab for the new file. I'm going to click OK. So we can see the first file here is our first run, and then the second portion of it is the portion that was done in the car. Um, so at this point, I'm just going to do right click, delete from uh, from uh, my collection, and it's uh, it's gone. It's cleaned up. Again, export this into a new uh, GPX file, import it into Strava or Garmin Connect or whatever it is that you use, and you're good to go. Um, if you have any question, leave it in the comments, and uh, if you have any problems with your file, let me know something that maybe we didn't mention in this, uh, in this tutorial, and uh, I'll try to help you. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you again soon.